six uh, six hundred thousand or something. What which? So there, there is no. Uh, it's not I who am changing. It's the situation which is changing. The objective remains the same: that the people are to be organized. They, their condition is to be improved and upgraded. If it is not through cooperative, let it be through NGOs. If it is not through cooperative, it can be through individual entrepreneurs. Continuing with your uh, regarding the target uh, growth versus organic growth, I was wondering how do you plan an organization uh, when you have organic growth as its objective? And you have a rural support program. <coughs> Again, look at the sociological situation. I explained this morning that a new generation, uh, which is uh, which is on the ground, has more idealism. It is making frantic efforts. Uh, new or go to any Sindh village. Uh, now, in Ibrahim Hadri, we didn't form this organization. It existed. Uh, in Lardkana, we are working with eight uh, rural organizations, NGOs, not cooperatives. And uh, they exist and uh, their numbers are very large, very large. Is a mere question you have to pass two logging, working with five village organizations or five NGOs. Do you have to pass up with a per bed or a shark? Uh huh. A punch the Tanzimo Kasaka. अब आपके पास अगर 10 लोग और आज 10 तंजीम में और आती हैं आप अपना ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को कैसे वो करेंगे डेवलप कर होगा और अंगी में सेल्फ हाउ विल दैट डेवलप ऑल राइट यू लुक एट पर वी हाउ मच स्टाफ डस शी है वेरी फ्यू पीपल शी हैज टू इंजीनियर्स थिंक इज दिस द विजन इन द फ्यूचर आल्सो शी विल कंटिन्यू टू हैव टू पीपल यस एंड शी वर्क विद 100 ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस यस if I have understood yes. myself yes. correctly, what he's saying is that there shouldn't be a target in the sense that you say that all right, you are going to have hundred organizations of views every year. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is that this support organization, RSP or whatever name you may give it. It should try to discover the activists. Now there may be one thousand activists, and if there are one thousand activists, then you go to, can go to one thousand organizations. You can and quite get one thousand. Uh, see, this is the critical. Aspect. And you don't even have to go to them. <coughs> you know, this is the dynamic. This is the this is the process of growth. What happened? Why did uh, Yusuf Shah come to us? Uh, we didn't go there. We, we were in no position to go there. But what has happened is we had worked in a uh, in Garda and uh, we had worked in Dildar Goat and uh, there was this Sindh uh, uh, graduate organization or some sort of organization. They had gone and seen that and they took the message to and they, they, I tell you what the dynamism here was made. Uh, first, I tell you the dynamism, the process of growth in Orangi. I told you it took us six months to build one lane. One lane. Actually, it was like this. First of all, it took us about a year to understand the priorities in Orangi. I began with one chief. No staff. I had no staff, no office, no contact. Twenty thousand rupees and a jeep. That's all. There was a driver, but in the second week he said, "I can't work like this because I was going to Orangi in the evening." He said, "I can't." I said, "All right, go home." One jeep, myself as the driver, twenty thousand rupees. It took us. A whole year to understand the situation. And how did I do that? I went to the all the anjumans, the clubs, the associations, the local councils, the officers, 
the KDA, the KMC, that is how I spent the first year going everywhere, talking with them. When I saw that uh, the priority, the first priority is sanitation. So what we did is we took a small office and uh, we established uh, there were only two or three persons. And then we got uh, Parveen and uh, then it took Parveen one whole year to reduce the cost. Uh, from 100 rupees uh, or 50 rupees to 3 or 4 rupees. This is your point. Again, it has taken us one whole year to reduce the cost of the barla and the biogas. Then what happens is when the first lane was built, uh, how, how did we proceed? We didn't have a target. But we were most of our time was spent in this, that we went, uh, our social organizers, they went uh, to the lanes which were in real trouble with the film. They said, look, why don't you come and look at this lane where the problem has been overcome. And it was these uh, uh, lane p managers who had built the lane that explained to them that you can do this and it got going. Again, we are following this approach. Once this bada is made, once uh, acres are planted with forest grass, then we bring, in the first place, we will come themselves. Or we bring them, and they become the teachers and trainers. And that is how we escape this problem of having a huge stuff. So the other question which is linked to this survey is, uh, you talked about nurturing the activists. How long does this nurturing take? And when do you know that that person is ready to carry on your work? Isma Dr. Sam is a parent who has been in this already multiple years. Yes, I will tell you. Please tell me about it. They are still there. They want to do nurturing. They want to do contact, direction, training, support. And they want to do nurturing. And they want to remember that I keep on saying that I am the midwife. I am not, and you are the midwife, you are not the father and mother. You do not give birth to the child. You do not create the child. You only, you only help in the birth of the child. The child is already there. The child is already there. You do not create the child. You only, you only help in the birth of the child. The child is already there. The child is already there inside. You help in the... So the activists are there, but the second important thing so you should remember so that you might not be discouraged, every teacher should know and every organizer should know that there would be dropouts, there would be deaths and failures. So never get discouraged by failures. Uh, in Kovidla, uh, in, uh, you know, 10% oh, or 20% of our managers were uh, lazy, incompetent. Uh, some of them were dishonest. So I got very discouraged. Uh, and uh, uh, we were training them. And I asked this question, how long does it take to go? I got a visit from my brother who was a colonel in the RD and uh, I ask him this question that how long does it take uh, to turn a villager into a gunner? He said nine years. After that I was never discouraged because it took me only two or three years to train a manager as compared to the nine years for training a gunner. So uh, they uh, don't get impatient. Uh, time is on your side. It is not the case. It is really the coming back to the old uh, uh, Aesop's Fable, the race between the tall ties and the